Morning, everybody. Welcome to Malibu. This should be properly exciting. Uh, I'd like to welcome Mark to the program. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Uh, a quiet gentleman with a unassuming vehicle. A, a super sleeper. I, I think I'm going to go as far as to say super sleeper as long as you've seen the outside only of this car. It looks like uh, an unassuming Honda Civic. Uh, however, inside holy gauges <laughs> <laughs> holy gauges holy accessories tell me everything about this car mark uh so it's a 2014 civic si i got it uh stock back in 2014 and then i started off with a Comtech supercharger we drove one of those it was great yeah it was nice it made uh, good power but it just wasn't enough top end for me okay so i eventually sold that and i got a turbo kit so i'm running a make speed turbo kit with a comp 5862 ball bearing okay and uh i st started off with a stock motor i was pushing around 12 13 pounds of boost uh-huh that made around 400 something uh, with e35 so i'm doing like ethanol blend uh-huh and then uh, i built the short block and I put, so I had a uh, Wisco pistons, manly rods. Oh wow! And ARP head studs. Is this a two liter or is this a two, uh, two, two, four. Four, two point four liter? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and so now, what's it making? Um, I dynoed it just uh, earlier this week. Uh, funny thing about that is the intake sensor, the intake uh, temperature sensor actually popped off during the dyno. Uh huh. So I lost some boost, but at 16 pounds, I was making around 450. Wheel? To the wheel, yeah. Wow. And 370 to the, torque. To the front wheel. To the front, yes. And you have an LSD in this car? Oh, uh, yeah, it in? comes with an LSD. Okay, oh, right. The SI yeah. does come with LSD. All right, well, look, that's a shitload. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. This is going to be interesting. Uh, let's see how it drives. Yeah. All right. Well, the clutch is heavy for a Honda, but light for pretty much anything else. It's an action stage four clutch, so it's... Stage four? They got four stages of clutch, huh? They have all the way up to six now. So is this... <laughs> all right, that's a turbo. Is this your daily driver? Oh uh, yeah, I daily this car. Wow, all right, okay. Well, good news is, aside from the extraordinary amount of gauges in the car, huh. uh, Everything inside seems uh, pretty normal. The shifter feels pretty normal. The seats are pretty comfortable. Oh, look at that. Is that a Model A? That was lovely. All right, straight away, fourth gear, and... <laughs> that's actually... Um, that was about half throttle. That's actually... Right now, you're in the low boost setting. I'm in low boost? Yeah, low boost. So you're making How it around. How dare you bring me this car and put it in low boost? There's a switch on the side. You okay. flip it. We're going to start with low boost okay. as we get used to it and then go to high boost. Sounds good. Wow, this is... Uh... <laughs> Makes all the noises, huh? Oh, yeah. All the tuner noises. It's real happy at 4,000 RPM, 4,500 yeah. RPM. That's around where my turbo starts uh, uh, spooling. Cool. Yeah. Pretty much getting instant uh, throttle response right now. Yeah, it's. It's pretty nutty, man. It's. Uh, it, the suspension's firm and this road's not perfect, so you get bounced yeah. around a little bit and up at the front, it's gonna fight for traction, but. Exactly. Boy, is that an interesting build. Wow. How about that? You do have to give it. A little uh, bit typical of, Hondas yeah. on the downshift. You gotta give yeah, it a Yeah, you gotta jab a it a little bit. It took me a second to get used to that. Wow, there's a... <laughs> Once you start getting into the turbo, there's a bit of a learning curve. Yeah. That is hilarious. Do you have anything for suspension or really supporting mods? Or yeah. is it kind of all about the motor? Uh, well, I originally started with just the motor. But uh -huh. it, it wasn't putting down the power because the suspensions were really soft from the factory. Right. So I upgraded them to, uh, right now I'm running Buddy Club Racing Specs. Okay. So they're around 10K in the front, 14K in the rear. And I have full race traction balls. So what those are, are uh, spherical bushings. Oh. Uh, lower control arm. Uh -huh. So that reduces wheel hop by a ton. And if okay. you actually want to switch to the high boost, I do. it's that silver switch. Just, Just it down. down? Down, yeah. So that's it. That's boost now we're in high boost. Uh, exactly. Boost on switch, okay. Uh, Okay, front yeah, wheel burn out there. Front wheel burn out there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, 
Holy hell, man! <laughs> so what's the difference between low boost and high boost? Uh, low boost is running around 12, 13 pounds, uh -huh. and, and high, high boost is around 18, 19. Oh, wow. So it depends on the temperature. Well, yeah, that's that a difference, huh? Altitude. All right, well, I don't want to sit behind uh, this Camry missing a bumper. That, that's <laughs> not fun. We're going to see if he goes off the split here, and if uh, if he doesn't, we're going to we're gonna take a little break and yeah. get us a room because there's a lot of power, my oh, friend. Yeah. Oh, don't go. Oh, wah, wah. Okay. Okay. This is what happens when we drive in the real world. We will wait. We're going to go here. We'll be right back. Excellent. All right, here we go. Ready? Clean. Look at this. So here's the problem right there, which is front traction. So, Mark, what do we do about the fact that... Uh, <laughs> you got to use some street slicks or something really sticky. So gotta, today you've got a street tire on it. Yeah, I have the Pilot the Super Sports. Those are good. Yeah. But they're just... Here's the gear when you start getting full traction. Yeah, this thing goes in fourth. This is pretty nutty, dude. What a what a crazy build. Does it have a very light flywheel on it too? It's a lightweight flywheel. That's why you hear the chatter. We yeah, off. yeah. And also, you know, when you go to upshift, it comes down to yeah. meet the next gear very. That's quickly. why you gotta jab it really hard when you that uh, red too. match. Yeah, like here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, what do all these gauges do? You got a um, lot of them. I have boost on the very left. Wait, like hang on, I want to hear it, but hold on. Okay. <laughs> That's a motor. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, imagine this motor like an aerial atom. You'd kill yourself. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Okay, so on the left is boost. Yes. And then what is that? That's oil, oil pressure. pressure. Got wide band, wide uh, band. water temperature, and oil, oil temperature. temperature. Wow. And then the one on the tack is actually the ethanol content, so it's around E40. E okay, and then what is that down here? That's my uh, ham radio. Oh. Yeah. So it's not nerdy enough to have a 500 horsepower Civic, you have to have a ham radio. I, well, I, I communicate with my friends on a long distance drive, so it's just faster than using your phone. Actually, I've had several people try and get me into ham radios. Oh, really? No joke, yeah, apparently, because they, uh, you know, the um, cell phones don't work in the canyons. Yeah. And I guess the ham radio does. Yeah, but you need a license for that. So yeah. it's just a matter of passing a quick test and then you'll get I, your license. I think I'm just going to be a ham radio pirate. <laughs> oh, here, I'll just, I don't need to. That was, there's a big ravine there that I don't yeah. need, to, need to see today. This thing is nuts, Mark. This is, this is deep into sleeper territory because... I mean, I know you've got a few boost stickers and stuff on it, but on the outside, there is nothing to differentiate this from a regular yeah. side. Yeah. Even the stock wheels. Yeah, stock wheels. Have you gone to a drag strip or anything in this? Uh, yeah, I actually have. What does this run on your street slicks? Uh, on my street slicks, last time with like high tire pressure, and I uh, I uh, shifted early on one gear because I was nervous, and honestly, but uh, I, I did like 12.3 at 117. Oh, in a Civic? In a front wheel drive Civic, I mean that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty good. And also, I don't want to make fun of your drag racing skills. Drag racing yeah, is hard. hard. No, drag racing is really oh, yeah. hard. And like, you know, if you got twelve three and you know, it was the two second uh, sixty foot two. Yeah, like you're not you're not a pro, and I bet you a pro could run middle eleven. Yeah, in this car. exactly. That's really impressive, dude. What a neat car. I mean, I thought it was gonna be cool. And uh, and you showed up here, and it represented. We'll go back to low boost there now. <laughs> That's awesome. 450 wheel in a car that looks just like a regular Civic. Good luck getting traction, all sir. Right, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming all this way. Thanks for I know having you, me. I know you came from far away. And what a neat build. I hope the audience um, appreciates it in the way that I do, because I think this is really, really neat. So uh, thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Later.